to be honest, it it's all a blur. Uh, I just felt tired. Uh, now, Peru does have an MTC, and so a lot of people don't know that uh, if they still do it now, I don't know if they do, but we only spent about four weeks in the Provo MTC, and then they shipped us off to Lima to the Peru MTC for about six weeks. And so all that happened in a longer period of time between arriving, getting accustomed to Peru, Peruvian food, uh, and all of that jazz. So first arriving, uh, to be honest, I got, I got sick. Um, I got sick right before we left to Peru. And so the plane ride was not very good for me. Um, I, I arrived to Peru sick. And then uh, when we got to the MTC, I felt a little better, but um, it's probably just nerves and being tired and you know getting used to the climate. But um, I got so sick that uh, the Peru MTC's president had to give me a blessing. Um, and that was an interesting experience. But um, it, when you arrive in Peru, just relax and take it all in, I think. Don't really, don't, don't try to focus on the language. Don't, don't try to focus on anything. Just go with the flow. And I think it, it'll just naturally come to you. If you have faith that um, the language will come to you, assuming that you're putting your part in, um, it'll come. It'll come. And so uh, the Peru MTC was a great experience. Um, just again, to get to the accustomed to the culture and the language and, and all of that jazz. And then it just seemed like a blur when we woke up that morning and they shipped us off to the, the mission office. We met our, um, our president and uh, he said, let's go to work. And we met our companions and then <laughs> we walked outside, took a taxi and went straight to, the, to our little apartment there and uh, literally, like, I didn't even unpack. We had a meeting we had to get to with a um, with an investigator. And um, I remember showing up in this little, like, adobe house, like, going from, within 24 hours, going from a really nice MTC with all you can eat, whatever food and commodities you can have, to this adobe hut. And with like two chairs and dirt floors. And it was just, I really have no idea what I was thinking. Like, like this is just a culture shock. So between not really understanding the language, the culture shock and me being extremely tired, it was just all a blur. In fact, I remember coming home that night, um, my companion wanted me to offer the, the prayer before we got into bed and um, I remember saying the prayer and midway through, I just took a pause to think about what I was going to say. And next thing I know, my companion nudges me and is like, Elder, I fell asleep in the prayer. Like saying the prayer, I fell asleep. I was so tired. And I was like, oh, finished the prayer and then went to bed and, and the rest is history. So I was kind of, that's kind of it, that experience there.